Claire Foy, Dakota Johnson and Heidi Klum dazzle in dramatic gowns at Golden Globes. The highly anticipated wear black protest at the Golden Globes got off to an early start Sunday on the red carpet with Hollywood A-listers including Meryl Streep and Michelle Williams arriving with gender and racial justice activists as their guests. Streep, nominated for her role in The Post, walked the red carpet hand in hand with justice activist A.I. Genpo as the stars protested sexual harassment in Hollywood and across the world. Michelle Williams arrived in an embellished off-the-shoulder look with me to founder Tarana Burke at her side. Turning the globe's dark on the fashion front had been anticipated four days after a call for massive reform following the downfall of movie mogul Harvey Weinstein and numerous others in Hollywood, media, fashion, tech, publishing and other industries. Host Seth Meyers opened the 75th annual Golden Globe Awards with jokes about the sexual misconduct scandal saying it's the first time in three months that it won't be terrifying for male actors to have their names read out loud. Meyer started his monologue by saying, Good evening ladies and remaining gentlemen. It's 2018, marijuana is legal and sexual harassment finally isn't, he added. The NBC funny man went on to take jabs at Weinstein and House of Cards actor Kevin Spacey. Myers noted that Weinstein wasn't present for Sunday's ceremony, but said that he'll be back in 20 years when he'll be the first person ever boot during the In Memory In segment. He mixed his comments about the sexual misconduct scandal with jokes about the nominee and a few barbs directed at President Donald Trump. He ended his monologue by mentioning the activists who were in attendance with the various celebrities as part of the Time's Up initiative and thanking the movie and TV set employees who work long hours every day. Most of the jobs on film sets are for people who work long, hard hours, those people aren't there thanks to their rich dad, expect for that one PA. People in this room worked really hard to get here, but it's clear that the women had to work even harder, he said. The Handmaid's Tales Elizabeth Moss won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Drama. She dedicated her award to the author behind the best-selling book Margaret Atwood and the other women who have spoken up about injustices. Moss who plays one of the few fertile women left in the world ruled by a totalitarian regime where women are considered property, went on to say that women are now writing the stories ourselves. The new initiative Time's Up, backed by more than 300 women in Hollywood, dole out pins intended for those who might already have locked in more colorful looks. Streep, who is part of the new initiative Time's Up, said in a red carpet interview, people are aware now of a power imbalance and it's something that leads to abuse. It led to abuse in our own industry and led to abuse in domestic work, in the military, in Congress. And we want to fix that. We feel emboldened to stand together in a thick black line. Williams, speaking on the red carpet alongside Tarana Burke, said they were here because of the work the Me Too founder had achieved. I thought I would have to raise my daughter to learn to protect herself. But thanks to Tarana's work we have the opportunity to hand our children a different world, Williams said. Allison Bree said that the Time's Up initiative had made her realize how powerful women can be when they all stand together. The actress, who is nominated for a Golden Globe for her work in the Netflix wrestling show Glow, wore a dramatic strapless black dress with a sweetheart neckline. Bree said she thinks change will come when more women are in power at the top. She added that a lot more listening needs to happen across all industries. Eight actresses, including Meryl Streep, Michelle Williams and Emma Stone, announced Sunday that they would be bringing gender and racial justice activists as their guests, including May 2 founder Tarana Burke and the director of the National Domestic Workers Alliance, they are Jen P.O.O. The advocates and activists said Sunday that their hope in walking the red carpet was to shift the focus back on survivors and solutions, and away from perpetrators of sexual misconduct. Though the red carpet was dominated by black, actors made it their own. Allison Williams provided a pop of orange and silver on the bodice of her black Armani print column gown. Singer Kelly Clarkson sported gold at the neck and on one sleeve of her black Christian Siriano dress. Jessica Biel kept the fear tale alive in a princessy strapless tee or with dainty sheer embarrassment. Shout Woodley donned a silk beaded turtleneck and black tulle evening skirt from Ralph Lauren collection. Diane Kruger chose a Prada black dotted tulle gown with a cascading shawl train edges rimmed in fun metal beating. Claire Foy of the Netflix series The Crown went with a black pantsuit and Tracy Ellis Ross accessorized her black jersey halter dress by Marc Jacobs with a matching headscarf. 
Catherine Veda Jones wore a couture, sheer lace Zuhair Murat Bay line gown. Mark Robbie, start of I, Tanya, wore a custom Gucci black satin V-neck gown. However, not everybody has supported the protest, including Rose McGowan, who has accused Dwayne Steen of rape, loudly and persistently calling the effort an empty gesture. The Golden Globes, once the stomping ground Sween Steen, will belong to someone else this year. The 75th Golden Globe Awards is considered wide open, with contenders including Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water, Steven Spielberg's The Post and Martin McGanna's Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. But whoever takes home awards Sunday, the spotlight is unlikely to stray far from the sexual harassment scandals that have roiled Hollywood ever since an avalanche of allegations toppled Weinstein. Before his fall, Weinstein lorded over the Globes and two decades of winners. Everything in Hollywood's carefully choreographed awards season has been altered by the still unfolding regulations of sexual misconduct, from the nominees to the red carpet wardrobe. It should all make for an unusual atmosphere for the Globes, which have long fostered a reputation as the loosest, booziest evening of awards season. This year's recipient for the Cecil B. The Mill recipient for Lifetime Achievement is Oprah Winfrey, who earlier called the fallout following the allegations against Harvey Weinstein a watershed moment for women. Winfrey is among the hundreds of women in the entertainment industry who have banded together to form Time's Up, an initiative to advocate for gender equality among studio and talent agency executives. It has also created a $14 million legal fund for victims of sexual harassment.